Hey guys, how hard is it to get a federal government job? Well, let me just say it's not that simple. Last year alone, over 1 billion people actually searched usajobs.gov. That's mind boggling. A billion people. Now, out of that 1 billion, about 17 to 20 million people applied. They put in job applications to job announcements that were on usajobs.gov. Out of that 1 billion people, 17 to 20 million applications came in to job announcements. Meaning basically there were millions of people applying for jobs. Well, how many people got the jobs? Out of the 17 to 20 million, only 3% of them successfully received a job offer, which is roughly about 300,000 people. So 97% of the applications that came in did not get selected. So it almost feels like a black hole sometimes when you're sitting out your job application and you don't hear anything in return. Now I was in that number. I applied over 200 times and sometimes I would receive referrals and sometimes I even received interview requests. But for the vast majority of the times, I didn't hear anything or I received a not referred or a not selected. And it took a lot of changes in my strategy and especially my resume before I was seeing more referrals, before I was getting in front of people and getting those interviews. So let's talk about the barriers. Why is it so hard to get through and actually get a federal government job? First, the system isn't perfect. And there are times where the system is not updating accurately. Certification lists, they'll get lost sometimes. Job announcements will get canceled and they'll seem like there's a disconnect in communication between USA Jobs, the website, HR, and you, the applicant. Another reason is you have the wrong contact information on your resume. Now, I know this sounds like a silly one, like why would anybody have the wrong contact information on their resume? But I was actually one of those people. I was in the process of changing my phone number when I was applying to jobs. And I didn't realize it at the time, but I had an old phone number and HR was trying to reach out to that phone number. Thankfully, my email address was also on the resumes, so they ended up emailing me when I finally contacted them on the phone, they were asking me like, what's the deal, man? Why didn't you update your information on your resume? So don't make that mistake. Another mistake or another reason why you're not getting through is the interview requests are going to the spam folder in your email. Some email is structured in a way that if you have an unfamiliar email coming from an address that's not familiar, it'll automatically go to the spam folder. So if you're in the job hunting process, you need to pay special attention to that spam folder. Another reason is budget constraints. This is especially so when we get towards the fiscal year and the politicians start to discuss what the next budget's going to be. So the budget is pretty huge. It allows an agency to be able to hire on new people. And when a budget freezes in place, a lot of agencies are just unable to take anybody. When I was given one offer, it was in between when Congress was deliberating about the budget and I was left for three or four months until the budget was finalized before I received the final job offer. Budgets can outright cancel a job announcement. When an office realized there will be no more money for onboarding, they can just cut that line completely. Another reason is too much competition. When we're looking at the average job announcement, we are talking about 200 people, plus or minus 50, that are applying to the same job announcement. So in order to compete with 199 other people, your resume needs to be strong. Something needs to set you apart that puts you in that top 20% so you can get referred. So is your resume strong or is it mediocre? Does it have success stories? Does it clearly articulate that you are the best qualified? And once you have a strong resume, that's not it. Are you applying frequently? Or are you just dabbling? Are you dabbling with one or two applications a week? Or are you making it part of a routine in which you are applying five or six times before lunch every day? That will make a huge difference in itself. Then there's the interview process. If you make it to the referred pile, and then you make it to the interview pile, and then you're receiving a request to interview, how well are you preparing for that? Do you have a strategy or are you just winging it? I've been helping several people with their resumes lately and I decided to build a small course 
where you can find a link in the description down below. And basically it tells you the fundamentals step-by-step -step on how to create your federal resume. And that way you're able to do it in the future. I'll also take a look at it to make sure that you're applying to those job announcements with a really strong, highly qualified resume. So that takes us back to the question, how hard really is it to, to get a federal government job? Let's look at the top three reasons on why most people end up getting a federal government job. The first one is special hiring pathways. Now this can make the journey a little easier. It is by no means a guarantee to get you a job, but it can help out. And one of those is the veteran preference. Another one is Schedule A disability. Another one is Native Americans. Another one is student pathways. And there are other ones that can help you get an edge on the competition to make it a little bit easier to get the job offer. Number two, people know others who have gone on that journey, whether it's a friend, a family member, or an acquaintance somebody who's been through the process and is sharing their knowledge and experience. This could be someone who has a family member that's already on the inside. And there's a lot of talk about nepotism should not exist in the federal government. And the government has gone through lengths to deter this type of practice. But I would be lying to you if I told you that it doesn't still take place today. It's just a little harder to do. Somebody maybe knows the hiring manager or somebody knows somebody who knows the hiring manager. And I'm not telling you that you have to go and befriend a hiring manager, but if you know somebody who's gone through the process or somebody who can share their experiences as a previous hiring manager and give you that insight, it could be beneficial. And then we have the people that are just relentless and persistent and determined and didn't give up in the face of rejection. The ones that applied hundreds of times, made the necessary adjustments and kept on applying the ones that go to dozens of interviews, only to be rejected and to keep going on interviews, the ones that refuse to quit. And that's where I would put myself in that category. I didn't know anybody. I didn't have a family member inside. I didn't know a hiring manager. I learned through trial and error and just the sheer will of continuing to try. So yeah, a federal government job can be hard to get, but it's not impossible. And you can make the decision if you commit to it stick with it. Now I have some friends out there that they try to apply three or four times a week and they just completely given up. They, they feel like the system is rigged, but they're not willing to adjust their resume. They're not willing to strengthen it, to, to increase the frequency in which they're applying. They rather just admit defeat. Now me personally, I didn't necessarily have to go and get a federal government job. I retired from the army after 20 years and I could have stayed retired or I could have went into the private sector. But I resonated with the idea of being a civil servant, about finding a passion or cause that is similar to my values and beliefs in order to continue serving in a different capacity. And once I started applying, once I was committed to it, I didn't want to just quit. Not quitting is hardwired into my brain. I cannot be a quitter. I have to continue. I have to persevere. I have to achieve what I set out to do. And if you stay the course and you aim at a goal and make meaningful steps towards it, you will achieve that goal and you will be successful. Well, that wraps up my video on how hard is it to get a federal government job. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.